The adaptive care model is um, really dynamic because it has five different areas of health as opposed to just looking at maybe one or two or three different areas. So we look at the medical side, the therapy side, or the psychological side, the nutritional side, and then also um, the connectiveness, spirituality, relational side, and then the part that I'm interested in, the movement and exercise piece. So it's a kind of more holistic model of health and healthcare delivery. When we look at how our bodies relate to the world, obviously we relate by moving. We're built to move around and we need to move around on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's something that hasn't necessarily always been focused on, at least in a therapeutic sense, in eating disorders care. And I think it definitely relates to the other areas of the model when we look at the health effects, both physically and mentally, of movement, but then the social aspects and the connectiveness aspects of movement and how we relate as social creatures through our bodies and through moving our bodies. So I think the adaptive care model is kind of best suited to bring everything all together that way in a way that maybe other models aren't. A big part of our program is somewhat re-education and learning the actual reality of how your body works and how your body moves and especially how you can use that for a more holistic adaptive form of recovery and sustained recovery. So we're moving away from that idea that exercise has to be a high intensity really kind of salacious uh, thing that a lot of the gyms and proprietary programs that you can buy a DVD or an app or anything like that for really promote. Rather, ours is looking at building everything from the ground up, starting out slow, keeping that slow intensity and using movement to reconnect with the body.